Hello, my name's Andrew Hibbert and this is a Brabham BT18 1 litre Formula 3 from 1966. And I'm racing at the 76 members meeting in the Derek Mount Coke Trophy. It's the third time I've done the members meeting with this particular car. Um, I did the 74th and the 75th, but I took pole for both races and won both races. It's a fantastic car to drive. It's a Hewland 4 speed gearbox powered by a 1 litre Ford. Anglia engine, produces about 120 horsepower. But here we are today testing, fantastic weather, making the most of it. We were supposed to be here yeah, last week, but unfortunately email. it was quite snowy, so we missed out. But we're having a great time, and it's all good fun. Mark Sumter, and this is my 911 1965 FIA car. We're testing today ahead of next week's uh, next weekend's members meeting. Where I'm going to be racing this car and also a Lotus Cortina. So we've got about just under 200 horsepower. We're all aimed to try to get to the magic 200, but we've got about a 200 horsepower six-cylinder engine, two litre. Uh, disc brakes all the way around and a five-speed gearbox. Um, the car weighs about a thousand kilos. Uh, we're all restricted to running on these uh, Dunlop cross-by tyres, which that's what makes it really, really exciting, because they haven't got as much grip as a uh, radial tyre and a modern tyre, but it's, uh, we're all limited to the same tyre, so the racing is really, really good, and being a, a rear-engine Porsche, it's quite tail-happy, so it keeps you busy as a driver. I'm uh, Eddie, this is uh, Walter Heel here. We're testing this Maserati 250F, um, which is very enjoyable. This car was built up by a chap called Cameron Miller, who bought all the original Maserati spares from the factory. It's a 2.5 litre, straight six, twin cam, twin magneto, um, with the transaxle in the rear. And yeah, probably now produces more like sort of 270 brake horsepower, something like that. I feel that's absolutely, absolutely lovely to drive. Very well set up by Walter here. Uh, it's quite uh, slightly hard to get off the start line because of its because uh, it's only got four gears. First, quite high, but apart from that, it's um, absolutely yeah, brilliant.